Are you a humble person? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. I like the story historians tell about the funeral of Charlemagne. He was the greatest Christian ruler of the early Middle Ages. After his death, a mighty funeral procession left his castle for the cathedral at Aix. When the royal casket arrived with a lot of pomp and circumstance, it was met by the local bishop who barred the cathedral door. Who comes? the bishop asked, as was the custom. Charlemagne, lord and king of the Holy Roman Empire, proclaimed the emperor's proud herald. Him I know not, the bishop replied. Who comes? The herald, a bit shaken, replied, Charles the Great, a good and honest man of the earth. Him I know not, the bishop said again. Who comes? The herald, now completely crushed, responded, Charles, a lowly sinner who begs the gift of Christ. To which the bishop, Christ's representative, responded, Enter, receive Christ's gift of life. The point, of course, is that in God's eyes, we are all equally needy. Charlemagne, Mother Teresa, you and me, none of us will ever be good enough to force entrance into the presence of God. In today's Gospel reading, John now steps out of the limelight to acknowledge the Messiah. It is a great act of humility as his own disciples will now need to shift their loyalties to Jesus. He knows his place, his role in the greater scheme of things. He says, no one can receive anything except what is given him from heaven. The source of all his prophetic discourses, the wisdom where he draws all his brilliance, is now in the flesh, in the present. He gives way as he is only the bridge from the old covenant to the new. His role is temporary, as is his life on earth, and his words that show to us how we should comport ourselves in a society that does not value humility is a reminder for us what God wants us to be. He must increase, I must decrease. Why is it so difficult for us to be humble? Perhaps it is because our society now looks at those who trumpet their own achievements with awe and admiration. Success is being measured by what is seen and not what is in the heart. From politicians to sports figures, from entertainers to corporate leaders, from entrepreneurs to even spiritual leaders, a good number of them possess an infallible kind of arrogance and self-worship. But don't we too? We all want to be recognized and complimented. We become anxious when our posts on social media are not liked enough, for example. When we have accumulated some wealth, don't we want to display them and show everyone the fruits of our labors? When we have achieved, don't we think our opinion matters more because we think our accomplishments speak for the kind of decisions we have made to bring us to where we are right now? When our leadership has produced the kind of great results don't we think we can ever make mistakes and therefore resent it if people disagree with us on matters where we think we are experts? People who are deeply in touch with themselves and with God know that the source of all their wealth, fame, and stature is the Lord above. They know how to be grateful and have their feet on the ground and raise their hands in praise of a hidden God. They do not flaunt their success but remain simple and unassuming. Humble people are honest when they commit mistakes and don't mind being embarrassed. Humble people can live with the success of others and can celebrate with them, especially with those who achieve more than them. God is a humble God because He took it upon Himself to reach out to our puny selves to ask us to follow Him. He could have in the wink of an eye and the flick of His fingers converted us, but He respects us so much to value our free will rather than put us on puppet strings. Let us be like John the Baptist who was humble because he made himself insignificant. Let us recognize that who we are right now, everything we possess and enjoy are all from the Lord. For us to be truly happy, we must decrease and God must increase His presence in our lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I am nothing and you are everything. Life is not about me, but about you. Grant me the grace to be like John the Baptist, who is a humble man. 
This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.